This is a quick tutorial on how to upload your 360 video to YouTube and Facebook. Note, to watch 360 degree video you need the latest version of Chrome, Opera, Firefox, or Internet Explorer on your computer. On mobile devices, use the latest version of the YouTube app for Android or iOS. You will then be able to view your 360 degree video on a smartphone or by using a 360 viewer headset. When you view your 360 video once it's uploaded, you are the camera. In Facebook or YouTube, Colorize, the GoPro, VR player, or any other 360 player, you can use your mouse to navigate around the 360 degree world that you have created. With a viewer, you would move your head up, down, or left and right. With your smartphone, you can physically move your phone left, right, up and down. You can do a quick test by going to your Google Chrome browser and Google 360 degree videos and select one and try for yourself. Move it to the right, move it to the left. Okay, kind of fun and interactive, isn't it? Let's see how this is done. Step one, create your video. First, create and render your equi rectangular 360 degree video at a high resolution, such as 3840 by 2160 as suggested by YouTube, or in our case, 4096 by 2048, and save as an MP4 file. The frames per second can be 24, 25, 30, 48, 50, or 60. Step 2. Prepare for upload. You can use this step to prepare your 360 degree video to upload to either Facebook or YouTube. Your video file needs to include certain metadata for 360 degree playback to be enabled. Follow these instructions to install an app that will add the necessary metadata into a new file for you. Download the 360 degree video metafile app for Mac or Windows. I'll demonstrate the Mac method, so just follow the directions for Windows if you don't have a Mac. I double click on this link and we'll see if we go to the downloads. It has downloaded the Spatial Media Metadata Injector application. We can open the Spatial Metadata Injector application now and see how it works. Select Open and find the 360 video file. Select the checkbox for Spherical and click Inject Metadata. Do not select the 3D top bottom checkbox. For more information, refer to the upload instructions for virtual reality videos. Enter a name for the file that will be created and save the file. A new file will be created automatically in the same location as the original file. Now we'll upload the new file to YouTube. We wait for the 360 degree effect to process. This may take up to an hour. 360 degree videos feature a pan button at the top left and can be rotated using the WASD keys. So look for these features to confirm that your video is in 360 degrees. Be sure not to make edits to the video itself using the YouTube video editor and enhancement tools on the desktop or mobile apps, as these tools don't currently support 360 degree videos. Now we can look at the upload process for Facebook as the second step. We prepare for upload and it's the same as the process we did for YouTube. If you've already used the metadata injector on the same footage, you don't have to repeat the process. You're all ready to just upload to Facebook like you were to upload any normal video. The processing does take a little while when it's 360 video. Note, the limitation says that 360 videos are limited to a maximum length of 10 minutes and a maximum size of 1.75 gigabytes. Here are the results in Facebook now that the processing of the 360 degree video is complete. You can see that I can pan around this 360 degree video just like I did in YouTube. These are the basics on how to upload 360 degree video that can be applied to most 360 degree video players. Note, in Premiere Pro 2017, when exporting and sharing your video, you can easily add a metadata flag to your content 
so that VR-capable video players such as YouTube or Facebook automatically recognize that your content is 360 degree, giving viewers the full virtual reality experience. You can now export your 360 degree video directly from the application and bypass the need to convert before uploading to YouTube or Facebook 360 to publish your VR video on websites such as YouTube and Facebook. Select Export Settings, Video Settings tab. Encode the video using H.264, HEVC, or QuickTime formats. Scroll down to check that the video is VR checkboxed and choose the layout which matches your media from the pop-up menu. Based on the metadata that gets added to the encoded video, Premiere Pro recognizes the video as VR video content for publishers to play back correctly. One last thing, with CC 2015.3 and up, including CC 2017, you can export from After Effects through Adobe Media Encoder. The way we do that is, in After Effects, with the composition selected, go to Add Adobe Media Encoder Queue. Then in Adobe Media Encoder, you can set the video settings just like we showed in Premiere Pro. Only in this case, we're adding the Is VR checkbox without having to go through Premiere Pro.